Bye. Okay. Hey everybody. So today I'm here with Charisse. This is her channel. <laughs> Guys, so today I'm here with Charisse. <laughs> I am actually just guessing. Okay. So this is her channel. You should follow her. Yep, at all dolled up by C on Instagram and all dolled up by Charisse dot C A. Okay, so we're going to show you how to do an easy half up, which is always requested when you know when we do hair um, for bridal for bridal parties, and then it will transition into a simple updo with lots of twists. So watch the whole video. So let's get to it. So first, Gretchen put this got to be mind blowing quick shave mousse all over my hair to prep it. Prep it like it's hot. So I'm She blow dried my hair to remove the frizz and notice how straight and silky my hair looks after. And my crown already has that volume after being blow dried. So don't skip this step. Then she parted my hair behind my ears on both sides and then the middle in half. Like light box. Okay. Part the hair behind the ears. Just like that, just like that, and then you go up the back of the head, and then you just sort of like section it, just big, because you're doing it this to yourself, or to your friend, certainly, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. So after parting my hair and dividing it, then she starts curling. This one and a half inch because you don't want it too curly or it's up to you if you want really curly then you use the either the one half in one and a half inch if you want it wavy or the one inch if you don't want it or if you want it curly okay you can part it really big just like that like two sections like that and it would be away from the face I from the place just like that. I will curl the ends because I just want wavy. And the way if you tilt it down, it will give you waves. Less curls. Yeah. And then just like the dot. <laughs> Notice that when she's curling, she's always curling away from my face. After finishing one layer of curls, she then sprays it with a light hairspray. And then you're going to section it a little bit more. You're going to section it into three. Like that. Maybe I want to put a little bit of more volume. So I'm just going to spray on the roots with this. Squarskill product. And then just lightly touch up the roots. Just lightly. To add volume to my hair, when she reached the midsection of my hair, she always teased the roots first before curling. Notice how silky and smooth this curl will be when she releases the barrel. There. Perfect. It's because we really prep the hair well. So I just want to emphasize, do not, do not skip that step of putting the mousse and then blow drying your hair before curling your hair because it would really make a huge difference. So after finishing that layer again, she then sprays it with a light hairspray and then she finger combs the curled hair so the curls will separate. This will create a flowy wavy look because we're going away from that, you know, Goldilocks curl, you know, sorry Goldie, not today, not today. So when she got into the layer before the crown area, she only separated the hair into two parts and tease really well 
before curling it. The reason why we, she only parted into two is because we wanted to have that wave. So we have to have that big curls instead of that smaller ones. And then when she got into my crown, she made sure to put a generous amount of that volume spray. And then notice that when she's teasing, she had to pull my hair up and then tease just to make sure that my crown really has that volume because this should be the part where you have the most volume. Moving on to the sides, she then split one side um, into three rows horizontally this time and then she curled it in the direction being away from my face again and then spray it with the hairspray with every row and then after that she moved to the top part and did the same steps so whatever we did to the left side we also did on to my right side Then she grabbed the middle part of my hair, smoothing it out, and then she twisted it counter clockwise, then put the pen under the twist and sprayed it. And then spray it. Okay, and then I'm just going to like take portions and lift it up. Just like that. Lift it up like that. So it's a little bit messy. Just like that. And then I'm going to spray it with texturizing texture spray. Sorry. So texture spray. So the base of your back should look a little like this. And then moving on to the side. So we left the very bottom of the side part down. That's to cover my ears. And then my bangs part, we're going to also leave it in the front of my face, which you'll see on the video later on. That's to frame my face. And then the midsection, she's going to spray it with texture spray. And then she'll twist this part clockwise. Twist, twist, twist until almost at the end leaving like two inches of hair out and then she pulled little pieces of hair from that twist so it's not too tight and it would look very textured and after she's happy with that she's going to pin it at the base of my hair And she repeated the same steps on the right side of my hair. And this is the very best tip that Gretchen has told me. She always spray where the pins are so the pin has a better hold on the hair and it doesn't slide. And then you're going to spray on top. Just pick up the frizz, spray everywhere, and then like blend it in, all over. If you need to recurl, curl it again. But basically this is just waves. I don't want it to be curly. And then at the back, wait, how am I going to it? And then some finishing touches, some finishing spray, and voila, all done. This look is a very highly, highly requested by our clients, and I can't blame them. It just looks so gorgeous and perfect for any dress style, and I hope you guys like it. So thank you so much, Gretch, for guesting, hey, and if you so like, much fun. Yeah, if you like to see more tutorials on hair or on bridal makeup, just comment down below. Thanks for watching. Bye. Ano ba iiralin ko? Isip pa o ang puso ko? Nalilit. Huwag na yun. <laughs> mahal na mahal kita. Huwag mo yung gayon na. Huwag mo yung lalagay yun. Sito na do ako doon. Sito na do ako doon. If you need a wedding singer, huwag ka sa. Siya na lang. Ew, my voice was so gross. But thanks guys for watching. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!